guys, Kyle Morris here coming from the golf room in Dublin, Ohio. And what I want to do today was teach you guys how to hit that low spinning wedge shot that a lot of you amateurs are desiring. Lots of amateurs, when they hit wedge shots, they go really, really high in the air. They come really steep and over the top. They take big gouging divots. And that's not a really good way to, to kind of uh, control our trajectory. The reason being that is if I took this ball and if there was a bucket right, in, right underneath the camera and I was going to throw the ball and I said, hey, throw it in the bucket, everybody would take the ball and they would throw it like this It'd have a little bit of arc to it and then they try to land it in the bucket. They would not take the ball and they would not throw it up in the air going really, really high and try to land it in the bucket, thus proving that it's easier to control distance when the arc is a little bit just kind of like a free throw rather than, you know, people don't, Stephon Curry doesn't shoot free throws and go like this and throw it up really high. It kind of has a little arc to it and comes down softly. So what that angle would be on TrackMan, if you guys were hitting balls on TrackMan, would be a launch angle right around 25 to 30 degrees. Because if I had this club and this club, let's pretend this club is a cannon and it shoots, it shoots cannonballs. If I have this pitched at the, same, at the same angle, let's say 25 degrees, and I have 100 pounds of gunpowder, and I fling the cannon out there, let's just say for easy math, it goes 100 yards. Now, if I change the pitch to, let's say, 40 degrees, and then I put 100 pounds, it might go 60 yards. And if I put it at 18 degrees, it might go 75 yards. But if I had it set, set at the same angle, it's, let's say, 25 degrees, and I put 100 pounds, it might go 100 yards, and then 80 pounds might go 80 yards. So now I could actually start to calibrate my distances if the ball is taking off on the same angle. The other, the other main reason as to why we want to hit it low and also try to hit a little bit of a draw in a sense is because of the fact that Andrew Rice has proven the fact that if a ball, if a club is coming down and takes a big divot and there's a lot of turf interaction between the club and the, the ball, then that ball will not create a lot of spin. The highest spin rates will come when there's very minimal ball and turf interactions. So therefore, it's almost as if if you forehead a wedge shot and you just kind of thin it, you're really, really close to hitting it really, really good. So now that you guys kind of understand why it's important to hit a low, low spinning wedge shot, how can you guys actually go to the range and do it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my noodle and I'm going to stick it in the ground, kind of going down the target line. It's going to be about 12 inches above the ground. I'm going to take my setup, and with wedges, we want the ball to go under our right ear. With irons, it's under our left ear, and with drivers and woods and stuff, it's under our left armpit. So I'm going to take my setup with the ball under my right ear. Most amateurs have the ball too far forward. So I'm going to put it under my right ear, and my stance is going to be a little bit open, but all my body lines are still going to be square. So I'm going to set up, and I'm going to put the shaft right against the noodle, and then I'm going to move back three inch, three fingers or so, and take a step in a straight line and put a tee in the ground. Now, from this spot where this tee is in the ground, this is where I'm going to hit every ball because if I get lazy and I kind of hit here, well, now the noodle's too aggressive. And if I get here, now the noodle's kind of pointless. So I'm going to set up. I'm going to put the ball back, the ball under my right ear, and I'm just going to try to go underneath this noodle and underneath this noodle because if I come over the top, I'm going to hit the noodle. So that's going to give me feedback to say if I'm coming, coming too far um, over the top and too steep. So I would go under and then under. And if the amateur is really struggling and kind of coming down and they're kind of flipping at it and they're going like this with their release, which is not a bad release for a finesse wedge around the green and whatnot, but if they were doing that, what they could do is they could take an alignment stick and stick it into the grip. So you just kind of wet the hole here and just kind of stick the alignment stick in. Then you could hit balls from here. You could go underneath the stick and then underneath and just kind of hold the angle. Because if you were going to flip it this way, that's going to give you feedback to say, hey, that's, that's too, that you're, you're flipping at the bottom, so it's not going to create as much spin. So hopefully this is some easy ways that you can kind of work on your wedges to hit those low spinning wedge shots. And if you have any questions, email me at kmorris at thegolfroom.com or visit our website, thegolfroom.com. Thank you.